fuck? The party never ends. Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So, uh, the last time I uh, talked to you guys, uh, that was a long time, that was the LA vlog actually, wasn't it? Oh jeez, that was a long time ago. So since then, I am now 27 years old. Hello, please pull forward to the next speaker. Okay. You're welcome to McDonald's, may I help you? Yeah, I would uh, like to order some food here. Um, uh, can I have, oh God, a McChicken and a sausage burrito? And then, uh, can I get a, uh, small frappe. Would you like mocha or caramel? Uh, let's go mocha. And you? 544 at the first window. Yes, yeah, so last time I saw you guys the LA vlog. Um, since then, I've got, I bought another Civic because I sold the Skylines. Um, people are still finding that out. I kind of sold it low key. Just wasn't in love with it. I wanted to get something else. I wanted to get a new project. So I'm gonna flip a couple Civics, make a couple bucks. So between now and my next car, we're gonna work on some Civics. Have your burrito, McChicken, small frappe. Awesome, thank you. Proud of saying. So let's just get to the shop and uh, we'll start there. Oh, it's cold. Fuck. That's just cold. All right. Oh, look at you. The sexy thing. Oh, you sexy thing. All right. So cold. Jeez. It's dead. Fuck. I was gonna turn this around, but it's dead. Jump it with that after we fix the headlights in this thing. Let me pop the hood. Boom. So, so I'm assuming none of you know this, but I have no formal training with cars. I don't have any education. I learned everything that I know already from just forums, friends figuring it out myself. Most of the time it goes pretty well. I don't delve too much into electronics or engines. That being said, I did wire up a new stereo the other day and the car we're currently working on, which is a $300 Civic. 200,000 miles, it's great. So today, what we're gonna be doing is headlights. The car currently has like the aftermarket HIDs, which I think are really annoying and they went out. And so I'm just gonna put the stock bulbs back in, which means I need to rip out the whole HID system with the helps of forums and DV Nimala. He came over and helped me figure some stuff out. I'm gonna rip out the old stuff and put in the stock stuff. Let's go take a look. Obviously the cleanest engine bay ever. Just, oh God, it just runs like a, runs like a dream. So as you can see, this is all the wiring down here. The original problem started when the headlights went out entirely. And I was like, oh great, this is not cool. And it's because of stupid HIDs. I was hopefully gonna just see if I can get something to make them work, but then I came to the conclusion that I'm just gonna take them out entirely. But the first thing I saw was there is a few, the fuse, okay, let's uh, focus here. There was a fuse here that was blown, which uh, falls down here uh, to that and all this hullabaloo. The first thing I was gonna do was just uh, replace the fuse, hopefully, and it would work. But as soon as I replaced the fuse, it blew immediately. I don't want to chase the problem. I don't want to do all that crap. And so I'm just going to throw the old stock bulbs back in. So let's uh, get started on this uninstall. You're probably wondering by now, does he ever take this hoodie off? No, I don't. I really, really like this hoodie. Shouts out Slammin' Up for the hoodie. If you don't follow them, you should. So we have the headlight out. Pretty sure we're gonna have to take something out in there. Along with all this. So just as I suspected, this needs to come out and this needs to come out so I can fit the stock bulb back in there. So we're gonna go about that right now. All right, so now I'm doing is just chase. My camera died, so I'm gonna finish this on my phone. So now, all I'm doing is just chasing all the wires to make sure all the aftermarket stuff is gone so I can get back to the stock stuff to simplify the whole process. Got the cord coming from the battery down to all this relay shit. And I also cannot get this bolt out. This is, this is gonna be fun. Break it off. So back to pulling stuff. We're left with this on the passenger side that comes out. So now you just need to chase the last wire over to the driver's side and uh, we should be getting pretty close. So after chasing everything, unplugging everything, this is what came out. This is all the extra stuff that HIDs 
use. The stock wiring plugs into the aftermarket stuff. So after you unplug all the aftermarket stuff, you all you need to do is plug the stock headlight back into the, the fitting that came with the car OEM. And it's always good to test if it's working because like I said, the reason I'm doing this is because there's no headlights at all. So I'm gonna turn on the headlights make sure that the plugged in bulb now works so everything is working out like it should i'm now going to turn the headlights back off put everything back together and then we have good old stock headlights again all right and that went actually very smooth and we're going to go turn on the lights Make sure they work. Headlights, look at that. And I would say, arguably, they're better than the HIDs that I just pulled out. All I needed was a screwdriver, a pair of snips, and a 10 millimeter socket. We have headlights back in the Civic now. And like I said prior, I knew nothing about what I was doing before I went into this, just with some help of the forums and my friends. And now I have headlights back in ye old dailies. Pretty simple, removing the headlights. Cheers.